I know it's a little <laughs> overwhelming. Oh my goodness. I call it the Australian version of Lululemon. <laughs> These are very sheer. <laughs> no. my first official review in my new city. Leo, tell everybody what you think of your new house. You know what I can tell you is he doesn't like the new bathroom that I created for him. Hey, would you use that? Nope. Um, this place is still in shambles and we don't really have any furniture yet, but we're here. And you know the best thing about my new city? All the shopping. Okay, this review I've been wanting to film for like literally years and I just haven't got around to it for some reason. Leo. Wait, you have to come use this potty. Come on. No, come back. Do you maybe um, want to go outside? <laughs> come on. Leo, I paid $30 to import grass into this apartment and you don't even like it. We actually went into the Lauren and Jane store two days ago and I asked the employee if dogs were allowed to come in the store because how fun would that be to take Leo shopping? And some places here let dogs come in. And she pretty much said no, which made me rethink this whole video, but I still want to try the leggings. <laughs> some other fun facts about Lauren and Jane other than they don't love dogs. Turns out that's extremely false. All of the girls that work there actually love dogs. He comes in every Saturday. <laughs> he is the cutest ever. Except the one that happened to be working the day that we asked. So Leo, from now on, will be participating in any Lauren and Jane adventures. They're Australian. I call it the Australian version of Lululemon. Or the Australian equivalent of Lululemon. I don't know if they love that, but I think their designs are more fun. And a fun fact I just learned two days ago. So if you guys are familiar with Fabletics, they come out with like a whole line every month and it's so exciting. You get the email every month and you get to see all the new stuff. Lorna Jane comes out with a new collection every single week. I didn't know that. And we're off to shopping. Oh, I need my phone and I'm gonna need money and I'm gonna need an energy drink. Oh no. There it is. I'm pretty sure this store just opened like a year ago too. Um, how many things are you looking to review? A lot of them. A lot? Okay. It tells exactly what type of fabric it's made out of. So this one's made out of our nothing to see here fabric, which is moisture wicking. And this one's made out of our L LJ Excel fabric, which has more stretch. So, yeah, let's yeah. do it back there. Because I have a lot of things for you. She's all about women empowerment and it's kind of by women for women type thing. So she has that kind of vibe on a lot of her stuff. She does like a lot of like crazy fun prints too. So this is like our newest. These ones are booty support. You have to come see this dog. Oh my gosh, here. hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I should have brought my is dog. I knew I should have. her. I don't took her. Look at his hat. Hey, he comes buddy. in every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> booty support. So basically it has an extra, here I'll show you kind of here. So it's a layer of mesh right here. Uh -huh. um, this is in the court and the booty. What it basically does is it lifts and smooths everything out and helps it from jiggling too. So nice. you'll feel confident at the gym. <laughs> um, and it should stay like that for 10 years. Like seven to 10 years. Wow. 10 years? Resistant. No yeah. way. So I'm on year seven and honestly it's held up. So I'll keep you guys posted, but yeah, wow. seven to 10 years. And then these ones are, this one is our compress and compact. So basically it has this adjustable here, like a normal bra. Um, and then it also unclips to be like a regular bra too. So this one's kind of the same idea, but this one's for a little less support. So okay. someone like me that doesn't have real much. <laughs> this one's just fun and cute. Yeah, that one's very cute. Um, I put that outfit together. Yeah. So, and these are just yoga tights. They're just okay. super, super comfy. I know it's a little overwhelming, <laughs> but take your time. You're hired. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where do I even start? Okay, the blue was really speaking to me. Oh, this is such a cute outfit. This jacket. Man, I don't know how I'm even gonna pick out of all these. These definitely do feel like a yoga -y liking. Not super compressing, not a lot of tummy control, but very soft. Outfit number two. Oh, this jacket. Love these little quilted details. These leggings are definitely more up my alley. Bit more compression. Still very soft though. Outfit number three. This thing is so comfy. I can't decide about this pattern. These are very I don't know what outfit number we're on. <laughs> this one's so cute though. Oh, yes. This is so cute. I've had so many weird experiences though that I'm like, I'm nobody, don't mind me. I know. <laughs> really? I get free shoes. Because <laughs> I spend so much money. <laughs> the black on white, the pink, the black on gold, or the white on blue. That pose though. <laughs> yeah. I like those ones. Yeah. The yeah. black on white. Yeah. 
and or home. Wait. There we go. <laughs> So not really to my surprise because I bought a couple things from this brand before, it wasn't cheap. Like Lululemon prices, but maybe a little more expensive actually. I'm talking 65, $70 t-shirts, leggings were all 110, 119. So needless to say, I did not buy everything. <laughs> But I got a couple of outfits that I'm gonna show you. Oh, and Lorna, if you're watching this video, Kaya and Kate at the Salt Lake City Lorna Jane store Nina Ray's <laughs> because they were incredible. I've never had such a fun shopping experience when the employees actually were passionate about the brand, educated about the brand, and really excited to help me and pick out stuff for me. So thanks, guys. So I'll show these to you, and then I'm gonna pick one to actually go to the gym and test out. Everything that I show you and everything that I tried on at the store is gonna be linked down below if you wanna shop any of it. And I always like to take an opportunity to give back to you guys in these videos because I wouldn't have a channel if it weren't for you watching these videos. <laughs> so I would like to give a couple of you guys a Lorna Jane gift card, $100. That'll buy you like one thing, but you know. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and be following me on Instagram. And I'll pick some of you that have been extra supportive and extra engaged to send a little prize to. Okay, oh, I almost forgot. We are indeed going to be squat testing them. If you're not familiar with this little device, you're probably gonna wanna go watch my squat testing Lululemon leggings video. That's when I introduced this little gadget because honestly, when you spend $120 on a pair of leggings, they better not be see-through. <laughs> this jacket was an easy decision because it's the most incredible jacket I've ever put on in my entire life. It is the easy oversized parka and it's in the most beautiful bluish green color. It almost has like a spongy texture to it. But I just love all the little details, like this part on the neck that fastens up to keep you warm. On the inside of the zipper, it has the beautiful quilt details. And then the little drawstrings on the bottom. It's just beautiful. And I got this one in a size small. It was $169, but I loved it. This is more of like a travel lifestyle. It says light cardio, but it's the kind of thing that I would wear to the gym. And then once I'm warmed up, I would take it off. I don't even think I like showed you guys me trying this on in the dressing room, but it is so cute. It's called the Natalie Sports Bra, and I love the little ribbon details on this one. This was $69.99. Like I said, their stuff's a little pricey, but you can feel the quality. I got a size small in this. I almost could have done a medium because this one is very compressing, but I actually prefer my sports bras to fit a little tighter. This is a nylon elastane fabric that is built for cardio. Okay, another really cool feature is a lot of the Lorna Jane bras, when you buy them, they don't come with bra pads, but at checkout, you can select to add bra pads for no extra cost. They're doing that just to kind of reduce reduce the amount of fabric that goes into the landfill because people like me that don't even use bra pads, it's such a waste. So I personally really appreciate that idea. Okay, this little guy is the Comfort and Coverage Sports Bra, $75.99 but it's incredible. And the one sports bra that I got from Lorna Jane like forever ago held up so, no two. I had two sports bras from them that I wore for like years and they still felt brand new. Plus I always love white sports bras and I love the little color details on this one because it's gonna go with so many different colors of leggings. It's also a long line sports bra, which are my favorite. So they're almost that crop toppy vibe. This is a high support sports bra. It has a lot of coverage, a lot of support. I got this one in a size small as well and it fits great. And this one is made from their nothing to see here material, which is a nice soft brushed material. And that's it for that bag. Leggings. Okay, I had to get the grand booty support leggings. I got a size small in these guys. They were $119.99. <laughs> the only thing about Lorna Jane is their sizing is an extra, extra small, which is great, to an extra large. I would love to see them have, you know, maybe two, three, XL, but not a terrible size range. These are their signature XL fabric, which is their performance fabric. Shrink and fade resistant, anti-peeling, moisture wicking, quick drying, durable and long lasting. Yeah, I was pretty sold on that extra layer around the booty, both for support and squat proofness. I have high hopes for these. Let's just test them right now, shall we? No. This is the first legging I have ever tested that has literally 0, 0.0. I gotta film this. I gotta prove it. So I am stretching them across the light meter to full capacity. Zero. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> wow. These also have that like slightly brushed feel to them. A Little bit of hair and stuff sticking to them, but not awful. But I'm excited for these. They feel like the best of both worlds where they're really smooth, kind of second skin feeling, but also give you that compression and the performance factors. 
Okay, this little guy is the first thing that I saw when I walked into the store and it is so me. I live for t-shirts like this. This is the Lux Boyfriend Tee. I got it in a size small. It also comes in black with white embroidery and it's just this ultra lightweight, a little bit see-through so you'd be able to see just like hint of whatever sports bra you're wearing under it. I got it in a size small and as you can see, it still fits a little bit oversized. It's made from 65% polyester, 35% cotton. So it has that soft cottony feel, but definitely more of a stretchy athletic vibe to it. Okay, last thing I got is this little red set. They are the Amy phone pocket leggings. So these come in a cropped length and then also what they call ankle biter length. OPS, I do have like my height, all my measurements, Lululemon size reference, all that good stuff down below too if you want to use those for reference because I am a little bit on the taller side. So these were $112.99. Also got them in a small. They are high-waisted and they do, and I forgot to mention, these leggings also have that seam that runs along the top, but with a legging that has this thick of a waistband, I honestly don't really notice it. They have really good sized pockets on both sides, the seams that kind of contour the booty. They're also made from their signature LJ XL fabric, so they're really soft. But the claim is that they dry super, super fast, so you shouldn't have too much of a problem with sweat showing. We will test that tomorrow morning. And let's see how squat proof these little babies are. Okay, all right, these are letting through 11.5-ish. So that gives them a solid 96%, not too shabby. And then I also got this matching long line sports bra crop thing. This little top is made from the nothing to see fabric, which is super soft and stretchy. I got a small in this. I almost could have gone down to an extra small. It says on the website that it's high support. This particular size on me, I feel like it's more of a medium support but it has a little built-in shelf bra, which is my favorite, so you don't have to layer anything underneath it. And then I love how open the back is with these cute straps. And once again, the straps just feel like amazing quality. Sometimes straps this thin scare me, but I have faith in these ones. What do I want to wear to the gym? Okay, I think I'm gonna do this. So the booty leggings, this high support sports bra, boyfriend tee, and this cute little jacket. And I'll let you know tomorrow how it goes. Lee, anything you want to add? Oh, also if you've watched some of my older videos and you're wondering where the heck my legging wall went, it's coming back. Legging wall 2.0. <laughs> Tyler's actually building it upstairs right now. But until then we get these awkward little kitchen chats. Here's the outfit of the day. Boyfriend tee, booty leggings, sports bra. And I wish my Lorna shoes were here, but until then, we shall stick to Fabletics. Okay, final thoughts. This t-shirt was just as great as I thought it would be. So not much more to say there. Although I did forget to mention, all of their pieces have this cute little heart jewel on them. Sports bra, actually a lot more supportive than I thought it would be. Usually this soft stretchy fabric isn't the highest support, but this one did great and I was doing all kinds of weird upside down jumpy things. I also started this workout and ended this workout with some cardio on the Stairmaster. And then naturally to test the leggings, I had to do some squats. And let me tell you, I felt so secure. <laughs> this workout was actually quite a sweaty circuit too. And I did not notice a drop of sweat showing through these leggings. The sizing for this brand is very true to size. But if you're kind of like me and you're usually between sizes, I would actually go with the smaller. My only kind of complaint is probably this front seam is bugging me a little bit, <laughs> if you know what I mean. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with these. Thanks so much for watching. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this review forever. So there you have it. Hope that helps. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, YouTube.